Hey, uh, welcome back to NES Tips once again. Coming back after these holidays, hopefully you got a lot of NES playing in. Conquered quite a few games, hopefully. Anyway, we're coming back. Got DuckTales for you this time around. Game by Capcom. It's a pretty cool game. We'll go ahead and get started and see what we can do with it. Generally, I like to play the levels in the order presented on the selection screen, hence I start with Amazon. As you can see here, there are two secrets by the ceiling that you can get to after going down the first behind the level. Heading towards your right after that will lead you to spikes which you can pass by moving right during the descent of your pogo. There's a secret up the fourth vine from the right at this point. Whenever you see launch pad, that's the continue spot of the level. This place has another secret in the ceiling. See if you can find the hidden warp that's in this portion of the level right here. This statue will want 300 grand of your money to let you pass. Don't do it. Instead, resort to your own means of getting by. Right before the boss, there's a hidden fruitcake you can grab to fill your energy. Knock the objects out of the way and start your battle with the Incan statue. When it hits the ground, it will throw off your controls if you're also on the ground. Be in the air when this happens and pogo on his head a few times for the win. In Transylvania, you'll see knight statues that you can hit with your cane. They'll either give you a fruitcake or attack you. When you find Huey, he lets you know that there's a hidden wall here. Actually, there's two. One you can score an extra bar of life from, and the other, it has two mirrors. If you take the one on the left, it'll warp you over by some statues where you can fill up your energy or get hurt. Be careful which ones you pick. However, if you take the right side mirror, then you're choosing the right way because that's where you need to go. Whenever the ghost comes up on the screen, let it follow you so no other baddies show up in front of you, and get ready for your battle with Magicka Dispel. Bounce off her head right after she lands, and you should narrowly escape her attack. At the African Mines, you'll be told you need a key that's in Transylvania. You'll get warped there automatically, and you should check the first mirror to find the skeleton key that you need. Jump in the other mirror and head back to the mines. There, you'll find there are more hidden walls, as well as treasure chests that can be obtained via the ceiling. One-ups are always a good thing. Look for a place that has Mrs. Beakley. She'll refill your energy, plus you can get across the gap by using your pogo on the enemy's heads. This will lead you to a nice bit of cash. It's a hidden treasure. Go down into your left to find the boss. Be ready to jump over him if he rolls in your direction and pogo on him when he stops. Also, at this point in the game, you should already know that Scrooge once got busy in a Burger King bathroom. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Once you realize the holidays are over and fall down that shortcut, make your way left to free Bubba from the ice. He'll reward you with another extra bar of energy. Dodge left when you see this boulder and jump off of the Beagle Boy's head towards the upper left portion here. Hit two objects and jump to find a chest. When you get to the boss, you'll see it's the Abominable Snowman. I will punish you good. <laughs> anyway, jump on him when he's center screen, and the snowballs always fall in the same pattern every time. While on the moon, get rid of this guy to find a secret in the ceiling. Work your way up in the level to find a key. This will provide you access to a door which houses the remote control for Gizmo Duck. See if you can find the hidden room inside of this room. When you reach the top of the UFO, leap across the enemies and the spikes to find another hidden treasure. Nice! Back at the bottom of the stage, head right to find the wall for Gizmo Duck to blast for you. Grab the hidden ice cream cones on the right hand side and watch out for a lot of beagle boys before you fight the rat. Staying on one of the sides, wait until it hops up to you and jump up to pogo on him. Do this a few times to complete the level. 
all of your treasure stolen, so you have to go back to Transylvania once again. Follow the same path to get to the boss room, and use the same technique on the ghost like earlier. You'll be faced up against Dracula Duck. He'll disappear and reappear, each time sending a bat at you. Those can be lethal. So, make sure not to jump too early. When they come at you, wait for them to be moving down and jump. This should allow Scrooge enough room to clear them and Pogo on to bad old DD from there. Once you defeat him, you'll have to race Magicka and Glomgold to reclaim your treasure. It's not too difficult, so go ahead and claim your prize. And that ends NES Tips again this week. Have lots of fun with this. This game allows you to be greedy and you don't get in trouble for it. Haha, <laughs> alright. Take it easy, freaks.